to all of you out there in the digital domain. Welcome live to Lucas Oil Stadium, the home of the Drum Corps International World Championships for 2018. Right here in the heart of Indianapolis, and what a night it has been, ladies and gentlemen. The front side of this stadium packed with the rabid Drum Corps fans, and did they ever get their money's worth tonight? They're all standing by here waiting for the scores to find out who our 2018 champion will be. I've got a pretty good feeling I know who it is <laughs> based on what we saw here tonight. But this crowd has been primed and it just got better and better and better as the night went on. Will, the performance levels absolutely amazing. Absolutely. And, and starting the night with the Crossman, the performance level so high. I'm blown away by the training of these individuals. These members are trained at such a high level, not just musically, but visually as well, what we're seeing on the field. We've got the U.S. Marine Drum and Bugle Corps playing everybody on as they come out now in the uh, review or retreat, as we used to call it in the old days. It is such a pleasure having that group here as part of our championship. Oh, yeah, to say the least. And we are getting everybody out there in a hurry tonight. There's the Crossmen from San Antonio, Texas, coming in as the 12th seed. As we introduce them, we'll give you a, a taste of their highlights from earlier tonight. That was a great way to get started tonight. Absolutely. When you know F uh, Phantom Regiment is your 11th place seed, you know you've got a heck of a night ahead of you. <laughs> Absolutely. They put on a great show tonight. Here's a bit of Phantom's performance. There you see our 10th plate seed, uh, quite a season for the Mandarins. Yeah, what a competitive outcome for them. First time finalists here tonight, had a great performance. Really exciting to see new folks in the finalist pool for sure. It's always exciting. Their program this year, life right after. Uh, Mandarin's literally uh, lit up the house with that rifle trick. <laughs> Say the least. 
perhaps our most colorful core of the night, the uh, Blue Knights from Denver. And talk about a drum corps that I, it really impressed me from a movement quality standpoint, just the training execution off the charts. The program called the Rise and Fall or the Fall and Rise. And uh, it's going to be interesting when they go to sell their props here when they get back. I was thinking of going out in the parking lot with the Blue Stars and getting a uh, new tool chest. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, they've got to have stuff left over. And it's amazing. It's going to be amazing to see just the parking lot in general, all the props I got to get out of this. Yeah, place. this was a great show this year for the uh, Blue Stars. They were crowd favorites from the beginning. The once and future Carpenter, these guys were not afraid to embrace a hummable melody. Stars, that's going to be uh, probably their highest finish here in the recent past. Yeah, definitely. And this core, my gosh, what an off season they had, but they weathered it with grace. Scott Litzenberg came in and took the helm, and the cadets have been beloved by drum corps fans this season. No doubt, and it's it's not anything besides the quality with which they performed. I, I've been so impressed by this drum corps, especially the last two weeks, how much they've improved. Oh, they hit that Allentown show, DCI East, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody lit a fuse on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> they have just excelled down the stretch. Here's a taste of the Unity Project. Love that uniform reveal at the end oh, as yeah, well. Such a cool moment. Okay, these. I'm looking to see if we got some green showing on the green machine <laughs> out here. Like we I, do. I think we do. I they look more do. like the Cavaliers. You look at them in the show, they were all black till about the midpoint. What a creative show it was called On Madness and Creativity. These guys are going to be humming. Uh, Bolero until about yeah, no Christmas, kidding. I think. They may be mad about it by now, but <laughs> a, a drum corps that really had an incredible performance tonight. You could just tell the way they felt about it, the way they interacted. It's incredible. Here's a taste.
we have the 2018 Drum Corps International Spelling Champions, <laughs> the Boston Crusaders. They started out with an SOS and went from there. Yeah, and it, just such a dynamic and engaging show. But honestly, my favorite thing about this show is the color guard, and they just had a lights out performance tonight. And I would have to say, physically, I mean, they were moving all the time. Yeah, that absolutely. whole core. They may have been one of the most physically active shows of the season. Here's a, a bit of SOS. And here comes the Beast, Carolina Crown, a show called Beast. And my favorite part was this beautiful ballad, If I Fell, the Beatles song. But that's where they tamed the Beast. Yeah, and the, again, talk about a music performance quality we're used to hearing from a drum corps. It's definitely Carolina Crown. But I, it's such an interesting and varied source material they used this year. Just a lot of unique things about this show. The, the brass line has carried the water for so many years, but the percussion line has uh, come along to keep pace. Yeah, the, the most improved award, no doubt, and but uh, just such a huge part of the success this season. Let's tame that savage beast, shall we? Okay, they look like the blue coats, don't they? There's not a bit of blue out there. No, but man, they sure are the blue coats when you see this show. I mean, it, again, I think the most entertaining show of the summer for me. Just so dynamic throughout, so engaging, and a performance quality unlike any other. Yep, that was my choice as well. Session 44. There was some swinging jazz in there. Let's uh, let's give you a taste. We should have Samuel, the drum major, here with yeah, us no after kidding. his uh, performance Thursday night. 
Blue Devils, Concord, California. If anybody could come out and keep their composure after the Blue Coats tore the house apart, it was the Blue Devils. Well, and probably our most interesting competitive battle tonight. Only two tens separating them last night. I, this show, again, just so so much what we're used to expecting from the Blue Devils, but I think the most in incredible use of scenic design of, of any show we saw. Dreams and Nighthawks, they uh, brought the Edward Hopper classic painting to life with a backstory. Here's a taste. was another 10 you make me feel like a Absolutely. natural woman and as good as that was if these guys don't win tonight <laughs> the Santa Clara Vanguard you're going to see people throwing themselves from the stands here yeah, what a show uh, and to say the least we were down here on the field getting ready for this broadcast and again watching individual performance quality what is asked of these performers it's just amazing this could be the first blue uh, Santa Clara title since 1999 here is a taste of Babylon And this is one of my favorite sights of the year right here. All 12 finalist cores on the field. Beautiful.
It has been a great summer for these young performers both in open and world class. There's our finalist the drum majors of front and center field announcer Brant Cracker takes us the rest of the way. Class directors this distinction carries with it a high degree of honor and respect. This year Dr. Beggs leadership award is presented to Sean Gallant of Santa Clara Vanguard. Presenting the award is DCI Executive Director Dan Atchison. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the results of tonight's competition, Drum Corps International would like you to join them in showing appreciation to the parents and family members of our performers this evening for their encouragement and support of the pursuit of excellence. We'd also like to thank the band directors, music teachers, and color guard instructors all over the world who are responsible for the education and development of the outstanding young men and women who perform for you this evening. <laughs> Music is an important part of a quality education for students of all ages. We urge you to visit supportmusic.com and learn how to keep music education programs strong in your community. Thank you. Now the scores. Presenting tonight's awards are DCI Executive Re Director Dan Atchison and 2018 George Bonfiglio Chairperson Award winner Colts Director Vicki Schaefer. That would be Vicki Schaefer McFarland. In 12th place and a score of 86.75, 86.75, the Crossman. Named for the former director of the Troopers and founding member of Drum Corps International, who passed away in 1994, the Jim Jones Leadership Award is given each year to one world and one open class drum major who exhibits unparalleled leadership qualities. Chosen by a committee of DCI Hall of Fame members and presented by the DCI Hall of Fame member Gene Matristelli, this year's world class award goes to Claire Albrecht from the Cadets. In 11th place, and a score of 86.95, 86.95, the Phantom Regiment. In 10th place, and a score of 88.15, 88.15, the Mandarins.
Drumco International Caption Awards are determined by averaging the scores of prelims, semifinals, and finals. The George Zengali Award for Best Color Guard goes to the Boston Crusaders. In ninth place, with a score of 88.925, 88.925, 88 the Blue Knights. The John Brazali Best Visual Performance Award goes to the Santa Clara Vanguard. In eighth place, and a score of 90.05, 90.05, the Blue Stars. Jim Hop Award for Best Brass Performance, presented by Mike Canote, Rick Kakum, and Jeff DeMello, goes to the Santa Clara Vanguard. In seventh place, with a score of 92.225, 92.225, the Cadets. Thank you. 
in sixth place with a score of 93.2125. 93.2125, the Cavaliers. Fred Sanford Award for Best Percussion Performance, presented by Jeffrey Scott, Corporate Vice President, Finance and Operations of Yamaha Corporation of America, goes to the Santa Clara Vanguard. In fifth place, and a score of 94.3125, 94.3125, the Boston Crusaders. In fourth, fourth place, place, with a score of 95.5, 95.5, Carolina Crown. The John Angelica, the Don Angelica Award for Best Overall General Effect goes to the Santa Clara Vanguard. Receiving the bronze medal tonight with a score of 96.95. 96.95, the Blue Coats.
receiving the silver medal with a score of 97.35. 97.35, the Blue Devils. Receiving the gold medal and recipient of the Founders Trophy, the 2018 Drum Corps International World Champion with a score of 98.625. 98.625, the Santa Clara Vanguard. Winning drum majors, we invite you to come forward. Santa Clara does it. First title since 1999. We're going to go to PA announcer Dan Potter, who is standing by with our winning drum major. And that was an amazing performance. Podium. It felt fantastic. I really can't put words like to it right now. Like honestly, you had to be there on the field to feel like just everybody standing up in the crowds like the whole entire stadium shaking it was just so amazing so amazing you guys were so dominant for the last half of the season was there any concern any any worry about overconfidence coming into finals i don't think so dan i think this whole core has just been about you know improving day after day being better than what we were and who we were the day before the rep before and it's just been going straight on all the way to the end. Is this your age out year? Yes, sir. Enjoy that encore performance. You guys earned a fantastic run, and thank you for all the entertainment you've given us this summer. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Carl. Carl on. Santa Clara Vanguard, and did they clean up on the hardware tonight? Based on the performances, we figured out they had it, but Will, when they got that that high brass award, we knew it was pretty well in the bag. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's three high percussion awards in a row for the Santa Clara Vanguard. I, I'm not sure undeniable is a strong enough word to describe how they performed tonight. They, uh, You know, the early season Blue Devils got them, and then they came back and they held sway the rest of the summer. That Babylon show just picked up energy as it went. And again, just a, a such a unique uh, program to the rest of those up there in those top three, top five even. Just visceral throughout. V for visceral. So they won with a 98.625. In, in case you're wondering, the record high score is 99.65. It's the Vanguard's first title since 1999. And they swept the Vanguard Cadets won the Open Class Championship. Yeah, just uh, again, such incredible work, top down in the organization, in the core, everything, just so well done. 
Charlie Frost has a lot to be proud of in that organization yeah, this year. It has been the vanguard season, and this is great to watch. You've been out there as a drum major. Oh, yeah. When it's all over, you've been going head to head with these cores, and then you get a chance just to, to say goodbye. Absolutely, and one of the coolest moments looking at the Mandarins here, when the Mandarins came out off the field, I was with Phantom Regiment after their performance, and the Crossmen set up a tunnel at the exit gate and applauded every single member of the Mandarins coming out for their first finals performances. I'll remember that for a long time. A really classy act by the Crossmen organization. There's your high color guard winner, Boston Crusaders. They were excited when they got there. <laughs> they're right behind us, and they're <laughs> really pumped about it. <laughs> and again, so incredibly well deserved. So the three major storylines basically held sway. Santa Clara winning the title, the cadets with such an emotional season and finishing strong in the Mandarins. You know, they're no strangers to success. They've won Division Three, Division Two, what other classifications we've had. But now they come in here in 10th place in a big way and make a statement in world class. This score two years ago was in 20th place. And then and last year <laughs> surges up to 13th, and then here they are in 10th. Again, so well deserved. And you and I have both remarked on this has been a season of phenomenal horn lines, amazing licks, some some incredible unison playing. But also color guard. People are out there throwing sevens like a matter of fact. Yeah, that's that's become our, our, our bread and butter, it seems. All right, let's go through the leaderboard one more time here. And as we do, we'll take a look at beautiful downtown Indianapolis. Give you a look at the, the caption breakdowns as well. Yeah, I mean, such a huge spread in GE alone. Yeah, and usually GE tells the tale. Yeah, and it, you just look at the comparison between Blue Devils and Blue Coats as well. Super close. Uh, Blue Coats just barely nipping them in GE, but then slightly behind in visual, the biggest gap there in music. Interesting to see how far ahead the Cavaliers are over the Crusaders in general effect. Yeah, that was a difference maker. They were uh, fairly tight coming in as well. Cadets. And nobody moved from the semifinals. Everybody held their position. No, but again, seeing Mandarins, the strength of that program, how it was built, them so close to Blue Knights from a general effect standpoint. Tie there between Phantom Regiment and Crossman. Again, difference coming between visual and music there. What a great top 12, and some of the cores that didn't get in were That's, absolutely yeah. phenomenal this year. Spirit of Atlanta was knocking on the door in 13th. Yeah, and I mean, starting our broadcast on Thursday with the Colts, I immediately said to myself, this this is a finalist in, in pretty much any other year. Just, uh, it's amazing. Absolutely. That Thursday night show was fun. We appreciate you joining us in those 363 movie theaters. And let me say here, my uh, my Goomba Dennis has uh, got some throat issues, so he wasn't <laughs> able to join us tonight. But he's here in the stadium and was soaking it all in as well. Yeah, he told me he was a little excited to get to be a, just a fan for the award ceremony. <laughs> Boy, look at that mashup. Well, for our entire broadcast team, I'm Steve Rondonero. I want to say thank you. This was your number 40 for me, and I'll tell you, it was a great one. We're going to leave you with a little Santa Clara.